Hello, this is episode three of the introduction to cybersecurity series presented by Rockforce Labs. I'm your moderator, Zach, and today we're going to work on a simple um, but very important set of skills finding your IP address internally and externally. Now, um, people say, well, that's easy enough, but it's often confusing. So we're going to look at two methods of finding your internal IP address first. And we can do that by saying if, that is, if I, on the right screen, there we go, if config, and that will show us our Ethernet zero port. And in this case, we're looking for this INET192168 number. So that's the old standby. That's the, um, the normal way to run it. However, there is a newer method, and some say it's more preferred. And that's the IPADDR method. And if you notice, they present the information just a little bit differently. And um, there's different uses for each one. They both have the Ethernet MAC address, the IPv6, the IPv4, the NetMask information. It's all there. It's just how it's presented. Now, the interesting thing is when we're running a command to get our IP address, we don't need all of this extra. All we want is this. And there's a simple way to do it. So the first thing we want to do is say if config and pipe. Now pipe is the shift backslash. So that's what the backslash looks like. It's above the enter on the right side of the keyboard usually. And we want to do a shift so it makes a vertical bar. And then we want to take the information, this is if config here, and we want to go to grep, which is a, a word matcher or a string matcher, and we want to search for inet. So we say grep inet. And notice that in this case it pulls out less information, but it's still more information. And we can ask ourselves, what about this is unique to only that section? Well, right off the bat we can say that it's more unique if we know it's a 192 address. If you know your internal network, most of the time it will be a 192.168 address. You could do the same thing and grep for 192. And notice that now it just brings us that single line. Slightly more efficient, requires you to look less. That's it, requires nothing else. You can do the same thing with the IP adder. Okay, so we can pipe it to grep, and we can grep for INET, or we can grep for 192. Notice the information is nearly identical here and here. It's just a way to reduce the amount of volume that you're looking at. Now to get your external IP address, it's a little different. Let's go ahead and clear this. And we can do a simple command that's called curl, C-U-R-L, and we can say IP echo dot net slash plain semicolon, oops, and then echo again. And this time when we echo, we're telling it we want this IP echo, so your IP address echo.net, plain is some kind of qualifier, some kind of variable. Uh, we put the semicolon in there, and then we want to run echo. We want this information, and we want to echo it. So now when we do that, and we run it, notice we get an IP address. Now this is the IP address to a virtual machine that's going to disappear here shortly, so don't spend too much time with it, but as you can see, it provides us with the information that we need. Internal IP and external IP. These commands will be in the comments. I hope you found this helpful. Um, it often confuses people, which do I do when? And we need that information quite often. And so becoming com uh, familiar with both the IP config and the IP adder, as well as using grep, really valuable skills. I uh, hope you liked the video. If you do, like, subscribe, uh, click your notifications to continue to be notified when new, um, new videos are released in this series.
Thank you very much and happy hacking.